appeal to enterprises because like you know that if one of them adopts you like you know you get that instant scale and the revenue streams and blah 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 or do you try to build your own ecosystem and see if you know other people uh, will build things of value it takes a lot longer but actually you know you could probably work with a lot more players and maybe that route's just a bit more certain um we, we've tried to straddle both and it's been very difficult but one thing that's certainly come out has been swash um and uh, we've got lots of interest from enterprises but one thing we can say for certain is that swash has been built and and it's really exciting you know we kind of um it had some people sort of look at it externally and see what you know the go-to-market route for that is and it looks pretty promising yes there's roadblocks but you know they could be turning over you know a couple of millions in buyers within the next sort of year and a half or so um and uh, it's been amazing watching their progress. They're ready now to kind of um, expand out in the next few months. So they, they already have a thousand users organically, which interestingly makes them one of the largest dApps around. Um, <laughs> maybe a pretty low bar, but nevertheless, they've reached that. Um, and that's without spending any particular amounts of money on marketing. So that's really good. It's a very encouraging sign because we think that they could get to 10,000 um uh, very soon and i think i promised on f denver at the stage there when you know people were still meeting um you know a month and a half ago um i i said that it would be the biggest dap by the by this time next year um so uh uh and it would have something like a hundred thousand users I, I stand by that fantastic i mean that would be that would be incredible and such a, a wonderful thing to happen using the the sort of streamer technology stack to to hit that target so yeah i hope i hope that swash does it does achieve that and it's had a great start you know like you say a thousand users already is one of the most prominent sort of dApps there in in the in the sort of world at the moment so yeah yeah and it's, uh, it's got like a lovely secret source to it as well which is that you know a lot of the problems that dApps face are that they have to have this on-ramp right People have to sort of, you know, get KYC'd and use their credit card or bank account to buy crypto and then exchange it out and then, you know, have the right kind of crypto for that app, right? That sucks. That just sucks entirely, <laughs> especially when you're up against, you know, the Web2 saying, use this for free and, you know, their, their secret sources will steal your data, right? <laughs> yeah. um, uh, and uh, Swash, however, turns the whole thing on its head. It's like, do what you normally do in the Web2 world right? Just browse stuff. And if you're comfortable with the deal, download Swash and you'll get paid in crypto. It just comes to you. You don't have to sit there KYCing or on-ramping or all of that other stuff. And, and I think that really uh, is very promising because very few dApps actually do that. Great. Well, yeah, so it, it's usually the lemon one problem. Like the, if you have seen the famous uh, video skate about lemon cones that yes exactly i was thinking about that video just now god that was so funny but so depressing because it's so true uh, it's still true for a lot of projects yeah, maybe we could put a link to that in the in the program notes I'll try and dig that out okay well hey it's been great having you on the podcast shiv um i'm sure that you're going to be on some again in the future as things progress under your new role in as a sort of head of growth um and um yeah i hope all of our listeners to the to the podcast enjoyed this one and uh we'll be uh we'll be doing some more in the next couple of weeks we've got henry the ceo of streamer lined up um to do one uh in the very near future so um yeah stay subscribed keep listening and um thanks for listening to this uh this podcast yeah, thanks, thanks for having me on thanks thank you Anna. thank you